Hello boys and girls and welcome to the Ingleside Public Library Virtual After School Program. As some of you may have been able to guess before, probably, I try to plan these videos out with my co-host, Miss Jean. Earlier this week I was having an issue coming up with an idea for this video and she said, you know Andrew, come up with an idea and make one. And I said, Jane, you're a genius. That's a wonderful idea. So that's exactly what we're going to do today, boys and girls. We are going to make one. Hello, boys and girls. Well, it's me again. So what we're going to need for this project, well, the following things are styrofoam cups, a permanent marker, a pair of scissors. Please be very, very careful. A roller. An adhesive of your choice. I'm using hot glue and a glue gun. And of course, our handy dandy, always wonderful and trusty, if also hard to pick up, piece of cardboard. Alright, so to start off, as you can see here, the cups we're using kind of have like levels or something like that to them. So we're going to cut it down so that it gets to the very, very narrow part of the cup. So you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut all the way till you get to that little narrow part. You're going to pull the flap up and remove it. As you can see here, it has that slit. Then you're going to cut along the cup. You can't go and make very long cuts, otherwise it's going to rip and tear. But as you can see here, we are cutting the bottom of the cup off. All right, so it's not completely even, as you may be able to tell, so we're gonna try to even it off a little bit. All right, so this one is not very, um, it's not very, well, it is now, but it, when we cut it, it wasn't very even, but it's close enough. Of course, make sure you don't get trash everywhere. So we are going to go and do that uh, three or four more times. So we will join you again shortly. So now we're going to take our pieces of cardboard, get our ruler, and then our Sharpie or permanent marker, whatever you're using. So we are going to draw the outline of a one. Now the reason we're using a permanent marker and a ruler is just so we have the outline and the general idea of, you know, how to cut it. So then of course we're going to do the outline for this is going to be the little slant on the one. All right. So we might want to make that go down a little bit more. So as you can see, boys and girls, we have the general shape 
of our number one. Now we're going to try to cut it out and we will join you shortly. We have our cutout for the number one. We're going to trace it onto this other piece of cardboard. So I'm just going to hold it in place. and trace the outline. All right. So as you can see here, we have a pretty identical outline to what we have here. So I'm going to jump ahead to when that is cut out. So now that we have the front and the back end of the one cut out, we're going to make the base of the one. So to do that, we're of course going to take our marker and our ruler. And we're just going to cut the first one out and after that we're going to trace it out on a, this piece of cardboard and we're going to cut that out. So I will join you guys when we have that done. So be back in a flash. Okay, so now we have the one cut out. And we have the, well, what's going to be the bottom of the one uh, cut out. So we're just going to glue it here. So, all right. So we're going to take the glue, put it on part of this, and put it on the bottom of this. Put it down and hold it until it dries. And we will go and do that to the other pieces. So I'll cut to that. All right, so now that we have both uh, ends with the bottom cut on, or I'm sorry, glued on, we're going to take these cups that we cut the bottoms off earlier and we're going to glue them in place on the back side of one of these. So you're just going to go and put glue. Remember, be very careful not to burn yourself. And you're going to put it all around the edge. And you're going to stick it on. And then you're going to do that down uh, this with the other. And so we are going to cut to that. And so now that we're done, we're just going to line uh, each of, we're going to outline each cup, uh, the top of it with glue. And then we're going to very carefully place uh, the other uh, half on top of it. So we'll see what that ends up looking like. So let's cut to that. Now that we have done that, as you can see, everything's starting to take shape. We are going to cut uh, smaller pieces of cardboard and glue them into place so that they are here. And after that, we will paint it. Um, 
I will try to show you guys what mine ends up looking like. Uh, I'm sorry. What I mean is I will try to show you guys some of the steps for gluing it uh, on uh, pieces onto the side, but I want to leave that uh, up to you because um, on your on your craft you can do whatever you want or use whatever material you want. It doesn't have to look like mine. So mine's just going to show you something you can do, not something you necessarily have to do. So we're just going to uh, have little uh, pieces of video showing you what to do. So let's cut to that. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've cut and glued smaller pieces of cardboard along the edge here and here. So for me, I'm just going to go and do that for all the, the open parts. But again, on yours, you can do it however you want. If you want to put something clear in there so you can see inside, you can. If you want to use like newspaper or something, you can. It's really just up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and finish doing that and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to paint it and I'll sh be able to show you guys the aftermath of that. So thank you. Okay, so as you can see, we have our number one. Now we are going to go and we're going to paint this. So. I'm probably going to use some way to paint this quickly. I don't, I'll figure that out. So we'll be back. All right, boys and girls. So as you can see, the number one is painted and I chose gold because I don't know what screams first place more than gold and actually screaming first place. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for joining us today at the Ingleside Public Library virtual after school program and join us next week where Miss Jane will have a craft of her own. Thank you boys and girls and have a wonderful day.